Welcome to another video. This problem is on linear algebra and it's about similar matrices. I know my channel has done a lot of number theory and calculus of late, but I just want to touch on linear algebra a little. And this is a very easy proof, but it will stun any student if you don't, if you're not familiar with it, or if you don't understand all the tricks that might be applicable to um, linear algebra proofs. So, if you have similar matrices, you're supposed to show that the similar matrices have the same characteristic polynomial. For you to answer this question, you must know what the characteristic polynomial is or how it is obtained. You must know what similar matrices are. So, let's get into the video. See, another way this question could have been framed would be to say that similar matrices have the same eigenvalues, not eigenvectors. Now, if you don't understand fully or you're still a bit confused between eigenvalues and eigenvectors, you can watch this other video that I made a while ago. So, let's get into this one. Now, for this, similar matrices A and B, so let's just define it. We can say that a matrix A is similar to B if this condition applies. A matrix A is similar to matrix B if there exists another matrix P such that A is equal to P times B times P inverse, so P must be invertible, or we can say B equals P inverse AB. Now note that it doesn't matter which one is A or which one is B, we don't care. But what we're just saying is that it doesn't matter if this P is on the left and this is on the right, like it doesn't matter in this case. Okay, now in the case for diagonalization, it might matter how you place it, but for now, we just, it doesn't matter which one you call A or which one you call B. Okay, just for the sake of this proof, I might just stick to this one, since this is the similar matrix that we're trying to deal with, or maybe this one, it doesn't matter. Okay, so, now, what is the characteristic polynomial? It is the polynomial you need to find the eigenvalues. Okay, the one you equate to zero after taking the determinant. We know that characteristic poly is such that we say that the determinant of A minus lambda i. This is your characteristic polynomial, actually. Okay, we, we just equate it to zero to find the root, so I'm going to erase this. So, this is how we're going to do it. Given that A is equal to P, B, P inverse, they are similar matrices, we want to show that the characteristic polynomial for A is a characteristic polynomial for B. Okay, we want to show, want to show that the determinant of A minus lambda I, which is the characteristic polynomial, is equal to the determinant of B minus lambda I. I. That's it. That's all we want to show. So what do we do? Well, let's start from the inside. Generally, when we want to find the characteristic polynomial, we start with subtracting lambda i from both sides. So we're going to do that. So we have, so proof. Okay, we know that a minus lambda i will be equal to pb, p inverse minus lambda i. Nice. Now the focus is going to be on the right hand side because this is the side that we need to manipulate. I don't think um, there's much manipulation on the left. This is the same thing as saying P B P inverse minus, I'm going to multiply this by P I P inverse. That is the part where many students do not realize they can bring this in. And once you bring this in, the rest is just some careful manipulations. So here, I know that this multiplication, i doesn't change anything, so this is still i. Because, recall that p i p inverse is still i. Okay? So here, this is the same thing as um, I got P multiplying on the left. I can actually move this one inside. So this is P, B, 
P inverse minus, this is P, um, I write this as lambda I P inverse. Because this is a scalar, I can move it in to the multiplication. Actually, let's write it this way. And now this is what we have. Okay, now, skillfully, I know that this is a left multiplication, so you can factor. So that's how you can factor matrices, because P is on the left here, P is on the left here. I can write P, and then what I have left is going to be B, P inverse, minus lambda I, P inverse. You can also do a right multiplication. I could have done this at the same time, but I want you to see it. I can do a right multiplication because this is on the right. This is the same thing as P. Um, I have now only B is left minus lambda I, and this is P inverse. And that's what I have here, A minus lambda I. So now I can go back to the characteristic polynomial by taking the determinant. If I take the determinant of A minus lambda I, I'm going to get the determinant of this side, which is the determinant of everything, which is P, B minus lambda I, P inverse. But I know from my laws of um, determinant that whenever you have a product of matrices, it is the product of the determinant when you take the determinant. So this can be broken down into determinant of P multiplied by the determinant of B minus lambda I times the determinant of P inverse. Guess what? The determinant of a matrix is a scalar. The determinant of this is a scalar. This also is, is um, supposed to be a scalar, but we don't know what it's going to be. So this is a characteristic polynomial. Well, we know that the determinant of the inverse of P is 1 over the determinant of P. Okay, I wish I had more space. Well, I'm going to squeeze the last line here because this multiplied by this is going to be 1. This is no longer, these are, ooh, I erased part of my work. <sighs> Come on. So these are no longer matrices. This is a scalar, this is a scalar. You can multiply a scalar by a scalar on this other side and they will cancel each other out because this is the same thing as one over determinant of P, which will cancel this out. So what you have left is just the determinant of A minus lambda I is equal to, this cancels this out. What you have left is just determinant of B minus lambda I. And this is the characteristic polynomial of A, this is the characteristic polynomial of B, because they're equal, then our statement is justified. There. Okay, let's, let's just put some fact here. The determinant of P inverse is one over determinant of P. That's a fact. Never stop learning. For those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.